Hey everyone, Jason again back with a video tutorial. In this video tutorial today I'm going to be showing you guys how to join multiple video files together using this piece of software you see in front of me, the I'm2 Video Editor 2. Okay, uh, first and foremost, you can get this piece of software from this from this website you see here, the I'm2.com slash video editor. Um, it is is a you do have to pay for this piece of software. It is twenty it is fifty basically fifty dollars, forty nine forty nine um ninety five there. Um, so you do have to pay for it in order to use the full features. Um, if, if when you're using the free trial, if you decide to go that way for right now for this video tutorial, you know, I mean, there is a free trial. You just click the link here, install it. Um, you can you can join three videos together for free and not have to pay for anything. But other than that, you do have to pay for it. But I think it's definitely worth it for what this program does and what this program can do for you. Here, as I get off the internet, excuse me, is it can join, it can split, and it can cut videos together, and and manipulate videos um, that way. What we'll be doing here will be joining joining videos together. So once you have this piece of software installed, um, the free version that is, and you open it up on your on your desktop here, this is the the um, the display you're gonna see. You, it's very basic. There's no file menu up here. There's no really anything. You have your join option. You have your split. You have your cut. You have a language um, option here. You have a help, a register, buy, and support. So very generic on the bottom, but this top is really what you want to worry about here. Um, and 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 so let's just get to work right here. Um, first and foremost, what I'd be doing in this video is I said I'd be joining videos together. Um, I'm be joining about uh, initially, excuse me. I'm, I'll be joining two videos together, but I have about eight that I want to put together for a larger video. So what you want to do is join videos together. First and foremost, plug your USB flash drive in or wherever you have your videos. Just if you have a USB flash drive, and you're gonna hit join right here. By doing so, it'll it'll open up this pane. It may take a minute or two. It may act like it's frozen. Just give it a minute. And once it opens up, you can um, move your browser any way you want. Move the program around any way you want. Um, and the first first what I notice when I open up this um, when it, when this opens up for me is how generic and how kind of simple look simple it looks. Um, very user friendly for sure. You're getting started and a guide. Basically, there's only two instructions. Basically, all you have to do is to find your to find your files. Hit open and browse for your file, and then to join, you want to hit the join option right here. And we'll get to this in a minute. But um, the difference between this and a lot of other joiners that I've used in the few, in the past, rather one being in particular case video joiner the reason I'm not really sh showcasing case video joiner anymore is because of the output quality that I had received when using this um, case video joiner that is uh, it was very splotchy very just not not to my liking so I, I I disregard that video and go to this video for sure um, if you if you've somehow found this video but uh, yeah, I definitely do recommend this piece of software out of any piece of software that I've used. That includes FreeMake Video Converters, you can see right here. As I still use this for to convert files together, but not for joining files. Okay, anyway, that's my little spiel for this. Um, to get to get started with this piece of software, obviously, you, there's two instructions. You want to browse for a file and merge them together. So we're, we're, we're going to do just that. Um, so I'm going to hit Browse. I'm going to open, hit the hit the folder. It may take a minute to uh, to open up the pane, but I'm going to go find my USB flash drive on your computer. I'm using a Windows 8 computer, so it does take a minute. Or Windows 7, that is, excuse me. I'm going to go into my, into my USB flash drive, and you will see I have eight portions here. They're all pretty big files. They're about 40 minutes each. Um, so I'm going to do part one and part two. You can just do check marks or drag over or whatever. Hit open. By doing so, it'll process it into the program, and here are your two videos. Part one, as you can see, you can you can view just part one by clicking, um, by clicking it by by clicking this clicking on it. It'll highlight it for you, and you hit the play button. And once it processes, of course, and here's your preview pane, which is something that a lot of video video joiners, video editors do not have nowadays. Um, a lot of older ones did back with um, you know Windows XP and whatnot and Windows 9, Windows 95 even um, back in the day. Um, and you can you can do you can view part one and part two separately 
here's part one, here's part two. You can view them separately, of course, and I believe if you click off, you can also view um, every file, the whole file, the whole 100 or hour and at 21 minutes, view it as a whole, and if you want to make any changes or whatnot. Um, basically what this is, what this is called is the storyboard, of course, you can... Uh, you can drag and drop files, rearrange things how you want, which is very nice. And you can rearrange things by clicking the little arrows and kind of, you know, seeing what you have if you have a lot of files like I'm going to have. But um, the one thing I do like about this program, and one thing some other video joiners that I've used in the past did not have, was uh, a full um, counter, basically. So you have, I am not playing any videos right now. So it's going to it's going to say zero of course but you have the whole hour and 21 minutes. Let's say I want to put I want to put this on a DVD eventually. And uh, you know, let's say I want to keep it below 4 hours. So obviously by adding, you know, three or four video files, I'm going to know how much I have. So it's just very convenient to see everything. It's very user friendly in that way. It's something subtle but very um user friendly. Okay, so once you have the videos and rearrange and how you want them um, and, and whatnot, you can also do a fade in, fade out effect as well. I figured I'd point that out. Um, once you have everything ready, you're ready to join. And you may, you may be telling me, Jason, I'm ready to join my files. I'm, I'm good, but where is the settings? And this is a nice, compact piece of software. When you hit join, like so. It may take a minute as well, but you're going to see an output settings dialog box here. And you can do a lot just on this page. Um, you have your file name, so I'm, you can go ahead and change it or keep it the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and change it for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to put a name here. Already pre selected. Okay, once you have your name. Um, you're good there. You can you can change your destination for a project like this, and really for any video project. I do stress if you watch my videos, I do stress to put things on the, the desktop. So I'm gonna hit browse, and I'm gonna browse for my location on the computer. So give me one second. Let's see. Okay, once I browse for my location, um, we're just gonna browse like so. It's like folder. And you see my location has already popped up, so I, I have things saved to the desktop. I, I know I want to keep it there. You can, also, I, I, you can also recommend, and I do recommend this as well most of the time, putting things on a USB flash drive. I'll, but although since this came on a USB flash drive, I decided the desktop is the best way to go. Okay, uh, next thing, if you have that all set up, and a little spiel on that as well, you want to change your output format, and the default format for this piece of software is going to be AVI, and AVI is a great piece of, uh, is a great default output to use, a great default kind of format. Well, in this case, um, I do want to go basic and go with WMB, Windows Media um, Video here, so once you, once you, Let's say you want to change this, of course, like I just said. So I'm going to go ahead and click, or use a drop-down tab. It's going to bring you to a whole big, a whole big list of options. It's going to the default. It's going to bring you to is a general video format, but you can also switch to iPad. You can switch to Apple, of course, with iPad, iPhone, um, Android, um, you can any any gaming device, PS3, um, Xbox, you know, PlayStation, Wii. You can do HD. You can also I do recommend this. Um, gen, you can do video, you can do web video, any, anything you really can imagine is there. So what I want to do in this in this case, I do want to go to general general video format in this case, and here's your options here. You have any option you can think of. You have, you have QuickTime, you have MP4, um, MP2, video, um, video, video CD format, WMV is what I want to use. So I'm going to click that. And uh, by clicking so, it'll it'll bring it back to the main output setting page, and my my profile, my output setting is already uh, set up now. Um, you can change your your video size um, from auto, which is the, which is the default. I do recommend this. Keeping the keeping this the way it is, we'll keep it we'll keep it widescreen on the uh, you know in your player or whatnot. So gonna, I'll keep it the way that it is. You can change your video quality as well. Um, from normal to high quality to low quality. Um, of course, high quality will be the larger file size. Normal will be the, the what, what you have right now, and just kind of merge together. And low will, of course, be the lower file size. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to keep it at um, normal, though. 
just for the same sake of this video you can hit more and it'll bring you to more options as well you can uh you know you, you can basically change your extension um your start time your video your length as well and change what option you want there your codec your bit rate your frame your your frame rate rather um just a whole bunch of options here um so you want to hit okay once you have everything set up i'm going to actually get rid of this and kind of you can you can go from more to less of course and once you have everything set up the way you want and i kind of thoroughly explain this hit okay and by hitting okay, hitting OK, it will automatically start um, to join the files together, to the two videos together. And it may take a while, as you can see, um, obviously depending on the size of your videos. Um, if you have if you have two five minute videos, it may take ten minutes to do. But since since I have an hour and basically twenty minutes here, it's going to take probably about an hour to do. So I'm for the sake of this video, I will stop this video and um, post it, post at the end of the video but as you can see on my desktop um, the file list has been created so once it is done I can go back in and say okay I like this way this is looking I like the quality um, I am going to save it maybe to a USB for now and then burn it to a DVD later and such so uh, that's basically it for this video tutorial I hope it I hope it helps you out how to join multiple video files together using I'm video editor 2 um, I highly recommend this piece of software I will put the download link to this software um, in the description in this in the description box below any questions you may have I know this can be kind of confusing if you have any questions please let me know I'm here to help I will try to help my best if I do not know any answer I will get you some help for sure so uh, thank you guys for watching this video tutorial please subscribe I try to put out video tutorials whenever I feel inspired whenever I have a need um, I try to do this. I try to put out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to continue doing music reviews. I'm, I'm taking a extended break for now, but I will be doing so in the future. Concert videos when the time rolls around during the summer. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully be doing video game reviews in the future as well. So if you guys are interested in any of that, please subscribe, like this video if it helped you out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.